Their hooks aren't even in the water yet, and already charter boat captains are fearful findings and ongoing scientific studies released this week may have dealt a blow to the upcoming red snapper season. Personally, I have not seen any fish that look abnormal at all. But photos of fish pulled out of the Gulf of Mexico tell a different story. Vermilion snapper caught off the coast of Panama City with skin lesions. Red snapper with fin rot, spots, and other health problems. All being studied to find out if it is oil related and a health concern to humans. Charter boat captain Ben Ferry calls the early release of the unfinished studies irresponsible. I would like to, to, to let this research move forward. Let's don't put the cart before the horse. Let's use sound scientific protocol and methods. So we absolutely do not want to hide anything, but we also want to be cautious and, and do the right thing. Folks like Lori DeAngelis, who operates a dolphin cruise, thinks otherwise, that these are early signs of possible disease. Being the dolphins are at, at the top of the food chain, if they're already dying, then absolutely you have implications throughout the entire food chain. Nothing sick and diseased about the fish that came in from San Rock K Marina. All of these fish were cleaned, bagged, and went home with fishermen today. Folks here say that there's nothing going on in the Gulf that they haven't seen in years past. I've caught discolored fish that occurred before this oil spill. So I'm not saying our fish are perfect, but I'm saying we need a lot more scientific data before we start condemning our fish populations. Fish with lesions, bite marks, and fin rod have been pulled onto boats for years. They used to just throw them back. Now captains say they're being studied closer than ever. In Orange Beach, on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, News 5.